What's going on guys, Nate here, and today I'd like to show off another pretty big mod overhaul for Skyrim. Last we discussed Sky Oblivion, and you all seem to really enjoy it, and some suggested I bring up Beyond Skyrim, a mod that seeks to build every single province in Tamriel over on Skyrim. This includes everything from Cyrodiil to Blackmarsh, and it is truly a massive undertaking that seems to have recently been gaining a lot of steam, no pun intended. Now, it's important to note that unlike Sky Oblivion and Skywind and similar projects, this mod is set to take place about 200 years following the events of The Elder Scrolls IV. So where Sky Oblivion remastered that game, Beyond Skyrim will take us back to those very same areas, but in a more relevant time frame meaning places like Cyrodiil and Morwen, featured in previous Elder Scrolls games, will have very different quests and appearances in the Beyond Skyrim project. You'll get to see their aftermath after the Great War has occurred and much more. Which is another thing, this mod isn't just trying to make all of Tamriel explorable, but actually includes storylines and quests and factions for each of the provinces it shows off. It wants to make each and every single area feel like its own DLC. Now, you might be hearing this statement and thinking, well, that sounds like it's going to take a while. And to that, you are entirely correct. However, this project has already been in the works for over five years. And very soon do the mod's developers plan to release the first part of content for this mod, a region called Bruma that is north of Cyrodiil. Now, this isn't to be confused with the dictatorial fascist country called Burma. This mod will release in parts, with the developers releasing access to various regions and provinces as they finish developing those areas. Bruma, the first part of this mod, that should be coming out sometime around this summer, and is the first bit of content that will actually be released to the general public after this mod's five years of development, is just beginning to wrap up its beta phase. And that one might say again, wait, they expect to complete all of Tamriel, and they've barely finished one region in one province? Well, yes, but do keep in mind the sheer size of Bruma alone is enormous. The mod team is going for a massive scale. Additionally, as some of the modders have been working on Bruma, others have also been working on parts of Hammerfell and Morwen, which they intend to remaster, and are all coming along very, very well, and seem to already be playable. Additionally, the mod team wasn't nearly as big and as serious as they are now when they first began, so efficiently is certainly on the up. The developers are taking their time with every single location, striving to have the highest possible production value. And I have to say, looking at the live streams and the trailers for Bruma, one could have easily fooled me into thinking this was a full-size Bethesda-made DLC if I didn't know any better. And the fact that Bruma is just the beginning makes me even more excited for what's to come. The voice acting is brilliant, the theme is sung by an actual choir, and the map size is huge. And I almost forgot to mention that it'll also likely be Xbox One compatible. That is correct, the mod team believes that Bruma will meet the requirements Microsoft has established for Skyrim mods. On the PlayStation 4, it's looking a little bit more bleak, however. Due to the fact that this mod adds in its own sound files and textures, it's unlikely that it'll work on the PlayStation 4. Projects like this and Sky Oblivion serve to be really breathtaking testaments to what a massive modding community Skyrim was able to spawn. Even five years after its release, it still retains the largest scene that we have. And with it looking less and less likely that The Elder Scrolls 6 will come out before my grandkids are born, projects like these give me something to look forward to. Again, reminder, although production is certainly speeding up and Bruma will be coming out relatively soon, the entire project probably won't be finished for another few years. But again, they're still going to release these massive size regions periodically. But with that, guys, I hope I gave you a worthy introduction to the Beyond Skyrim project. As always, links are in the description down below if you're looking to join this team. This is a very massive project, and they are definitely looking for more people. They have a lot of openings. It's going to take a very long time for this to finish. So if you apply now and you have the skills necessary, there's a pretty good chance you can end up on their team. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, a like rating is always very much appreciated. And leave a comment down below with what you're hoping to see out of this Beyond Skyrim project. How do you hope they approach the lore and whatnot? And what other mods would you like to cover? Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out, everyone.